uh, all this dirty laundry here. I just can't believe Why not? we're going there, and it's May, Why? and there are five months to go. Uh, I think it's going to get really nasty before it's all said and done. Um, Van Jones and Kelly and Conway from both camps. Important to hear both voices. I appreciate you that both was very the much. Most disgustingly biased crap I've heard from a. a <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not in. We are not going to talk about facts here on my show. Okay, no facts on my show unless. It is uh, uh, furthering our narrative. So, yeah, I've got to let you go, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's the thing. Van Jones said it's about Bill Clinton, right? Right. It's not about Bill Clinton. It's not about marriage. It's about how Hillary Clinton went to the lengths that she did to destroy these victims. Right, right. No, I mean, that was her M.O. She would destroy the victims to keep them out. And you're listening to SmithRadio.com. We are on Spreaker. You can search us Smith Radio. And that is spelled S-M-Y-T-H-R-A-D-I-O. If you would like to call in, we are at 513-888-1538. That's 513-888-1538. And we are also... On Twitter at Smith Radio, and we are also on Facebook, facebook.com slash Smith Radio. Do not forget that's spelled S M Y T H. So, a, a never Trumper, a, a cruise, cruise always. I, I know what, what the cruise, it's cruise, the cruise hashtag cru- never. Tr- oh, cruise, cruise crew, crew cruise yeah. crew, uh, pulled up a Hillary Clinton ad okay. and said against Trump, said, This is damning. It's going to destroy Trump. Gee, thanks for that, Mister "quote" conservative. Okay, so, so it's just it's just a real clip, real quick clip. You tell me uh, what you think of this. It's uh, HillaryClinton dot com backslash uh, values or something. That's ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, so you tell me if how damning this is and if this will derail the Trump train. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. I'll use the word Anchorman. This is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. You're going to have a deportation force. I will get rid of gun-free zones on schools. My first day, it gets signed. A total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Do you still believe that Muslims should be banned from entering the country until we can figure out what's going on, as you've said? Yes, we have to find out what the hell is going on. What do you think of what I said it's fine. And if we want to go stronger, I'd go stronger too. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. Bomb the shit out of them. <laughs> Maybe Syria should be a uh, free zone for ISIS. Can you tell there. the Middle East we're not using a nuclear weapon? I would never anybody? say that. I would never take any of my cards off the table. How about Europe? I, I'm not going to take it off the table. You might use in Europe? <laughs> if you're a border with a disability. Uh, I don't remember! Planned Parenthood should absolutely be defunded. How do you ban abortion? You'll go back to a position like they had, where people will perhaps go to illegal places. Should the woman be punished? Driving abortion? There has to be some form of punishment. Will you condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or other white supremacists? I don't know anything about white supremacists, so I don't know. Knock the crap out of him, would you? Like to punch him in the face. Everything I said that you folks, I do, okay? I do. And then it shows. Uh, I think that should I should be paid for by <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> yes, it's, it's it's kind of funny, dude, dude. Is that not a pro-Trump ad? It can be construed that there's a couple okay. things that I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> People who are voting Trump already. Oh, yeah, we all think it's hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that's what she's airing. It it did say uh, Hillary for president. It was a Hillary. Bought and paid for. I can't listen to that and say, you know what? I'm I out. know. I know. We've been uh, pushing for Trump all this time since like last what December right, of right. 2015, right? Maybe even earlier. I can't remember. I'm trying to think of how far back this goes. Uh, but you know what? After hearing that, wow! I didn't realize that. Maybe I should. should reconsider. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> you're out. You're out. You were in, but now you're out. Yeah. No, I mean, some of it was – somebody pointed out something that I never realized. 
the whole their rapist thing, which is an old sound bite right, from right. way back, back when that was like when he first said, "We're going to build a wall. We're going to make it great. It's going to be the greatest wall you ever seen." It was like nine months ago, a long time ago. He said they're sending their poor people. They're not sending the greatest people. They're sending their poor. They're sending this, that, and the other thing. And he said they're rapists. Well, if you spell their t h e y apostrophe r e you're calling them racist but i don't think he meant t h e y apostrophe r e i think what he was saying was t h e i r because he said he said you're they're sending their poor he said they're sending their uh, whatever their their criminals they're sending their rapists Oh, yeah. It was so taken saying, out of context. He's saying they're not as in they are. He's saying Mexico is sending their, their rapists, rapists, which it's is getting true. Cut off. It's get, they're, they're taking it out of context. They're taking the their rapists and they're putting it by the, itself. It's the, the Trayvon Martin thing. That's Remember he said yep. he looks black. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they cut that out? Uh, Oh, they they sliced that to, like crazy. Uh, that was uh, they called up Emerald and said, "Hey, can you do a number on this? Can you oh, slice yeah. this up?" Yeah, bam! Uh, right, they're, they, he looks black. Oh, they're racist. They're they're racist is actually spelled T H E I R because they're sending. The, but they but they cut it. If you cut it and it says they're racist, it sounds like T H E Y apostrophe R E. Right, right. I. He's not saying they are rapists. He's sending. They're sending their rapists. See, that's why we do this show. So now you know right. the truth. <laughs> the truth. Um, I'm trying to search for the, the girl uh, Stein Steinem Stein Steiner. Uh, she was out in San Francisco and she was murdered with her father, right in front of her father, by an illegal alien. On the dock? Yeah, on the yeah. dock. Sitting by the dock of the bay. Something like that. And um, so uh, they, they called out San Francisco, and San Francisco renewed this week. Oh, no. Mr. Trump, we are a sanctuary city. Oh, Trump will absolutely not allow that. You know, uh, a lot the, of people don't realize this. The family's suing the city. Oh, I think they should get millions. Yeah. They should get They should get millions of dollars and it won't be enough in fact you know because they're the type of family that would probably donate a vast majority of it to to charity right they should sue that city for a hundred million sure why not because you know they'd probably keep a couple million and then donate the other 90 plus million they to do charity. they do more good with that money than the government ever could. Uh, yeah especially <laughs> san francisco yes. nancy pelosi oh that dude she's She's mental. Oh yeah, she's good. Like, there's something some major, really. She needs to be in a straitjacket at all times. <laughs> at all times to protect herself. Yes. So check this out. I don't know. I don't know if it was breaking news, but it's news to me. Marco Rubio talks with Jake Tapper. Oh okay. He says uh, in the in the conversation says, "Yeah, when the convention comes up, yeah, I'll speak on." On Trump's behalf. I'll speak on his part. That's cool. It's all about beating Hillary at this point. Um, yeah. He I'll seems give, like an honest guy. Uh, I'll also give my delegates to Trump. He seems like a good, honest guy. I He my, got, he, my he got thing, caught up with the wrong crowd. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, you're 100% right about that. 100% right. Um, I love... This is old school. This goes way back. Um, back when he did the Gang of Eight... And I said, this is unforgivable, and I've actually maintained that on this show for multiple episodes, that what he did with Gang of Eight is unforgivable. He has since come out and said he's sorry, but before he did all that, Rush had an explanation, for the a theory. For the Gang of Eight. Yeah, well, a theory f with the regards to the Gang of Eight, specifically for what the heck happened with Marco Rubio. Oh, because okay. before he went into the woodshed and came out for the Gang of Eight, right. which required Ted Cruz to help defeat, which is just crazy, uh, right? Yeah. Um, Rush said, that, look, this is what I think happened. 
I think they took him back behind the smoke filled room and said, listen, blah, blah, and they started beating on him and beating on him. And this guy's a young junior senator and he, blah, blah, blah. And, and um, he just got caught up in the whirlwind. And I think he came out thinking that what he was going to say was going to work. And he got set up. He got swindled. He got horn swoggled, whatever you want to call it. And he has since come out and said, yeah, that was kind of a mistake. And the proof of the pudding is I think he'd be our nominee this year if he didn't do Gang of Eight. Because he was ready for prime well, time. Well, he, he might be our nominee, but he also... It, it, he if it was, wasn't for Gang of Eight, he would be our nominee, period. No, no. I believe it. There's one other thing. What? Glitch. Yeah, but the glitch thing happened because people were looking for something. They oh, hated the Gang of Eight. Oh, they were okay. looking for any excuse. Remember, he came out and all the women were like, oh, my God. My oh. wife was, he's oh. it. He's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. My and was like, what yeah. was I thinking? I was thinking, wow, I know this he's going to be hard to beat. Well, I know he's yeah. scripted, but man, he knows how to read a script. Yeah, he could, he could read that script well. Obama. Obama was just a script reader, and he reads a script really well. You get him on a, you get him off the teleprompter. It is a train wreck. But you know what? Rubio spoke many times without a teleprompter. Yeah. he sounded great. Right, right. It sounded scripted, but it sounded very good. It was like he's like a method actor. Right, and he just was still in character. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. That Never being was. said, he's also so good looking that I'll tell you what. Woo! What? Your wife liked it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'll have to ask my wife what she thought of Marco Rubio. But the, the point is, he if it wasn't for Gang of Eight, because here's the thing, what you're saying. You're saying, no, no, the glitch thing. People were looking for an excuse to pounce all over him. Right. And I don't mean it that way. I mean the other way. What? We're not in San Fran's... <laughs> Freako. <laughs> what people were looking for an excuse to say, wait until he says the wrong and when the glitch thing happened with Christy <laughs> going off on him, people were like, Oh my gosh, it's true, he is glitch. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. I oh that. Brian, you had a field day with Oh, me. I, I slipped down that rabbit hole. I think I even bought um Gl- Marco, Marco Rubio glitch.com No, just Mar- Marco Glitch. Oh, Marco Glitch. Or, was, don't we also have a Twitter account? Yeah, we have. No, there is a glitch, a glitch Twitter account. It is just but glitch. But you wanted Rubio Glitch. Yeah. Or gl- Glitch Rubio or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I truly believe that if it was not for the Gang of Eight, he would be our nominee. And I think it would have been okay. But in hindsight, maybe it was a good thing that the Gang of Eight thing happened because if he was that susceptible then... Oh, he'd, he'd get bought and paid for within the first 100 well, days. They would, ta- they would take him behind the smoke-filled room right. as president. What what they did to him, what, uh, the damage that he was able to do was minimal. And right. it was able okay. to be cleaned up by Ted Cruz. Cruz. Right. 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 So um, that being said, thankfully... He didn't become our nominee and then go on to become president. And then the damage he could have done would have been exponential. Yeah, no, definitely. So that's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. And I have no idea why we were talking about him. I, do, I don't know either. <laughs> um, oh, we went down the rabbit hole. Lou, Lou Dobbs had... Uh, oh, he's he's on every episode now, isn't he? I love Lou. God, I love a Lou. I love, I love me some Lou. Well, we were talking about uh, Rush. Rush this week had advice for Trump. Okay, so Rush is talking. He's going on this, you know, this this rant. I guess he's talking on and on about his career and how, in his entire career, he's only known of two people in his entire career that did not try to change him. All right, he was saying, "I got these advisors coming at me left and right, threatening to fire me. I've got, you know, radio shows, man. You don't, nobody does it like this." And I tell him, "I said, I know. That's why I do it like this." And so he's kind of on and on and on, and then he gets into the whole thing of his advice, if you will, uh, that he wishes to give to Trump. And this is how this goes: Trump is facing the same thing. Everybody who is a powerful personality, who is who is generating a lot of heat, who is winning at what he's doing, and Trump's doing all of that by a multiple factor of 10. Trump just owns it right now. And there are people that don't like that. 
There are people that want to be part of it. There are people who want you to think.